Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, here we are going to discuss with respect to economics, class 12th. As we all know, class 12th economics has two parts. One is microeconomics, another one is macroeconomics. So here we will be discussing microeconomics and macroeconomics in detail. Dear students, let us understand what is microeconomics. As we all know, micro and macro is derived from a Greek word. Micro means small. So it deals with a small part of the economy. That means it deals with the individuals. Macroeconomic variables like individual demand, consumer behavior, forms, price of the product, etc. will be discussed under microeconomics. Then what do you mean by macro? Macro means large. So macroeconomics deals with a large part of the economy. So it deals with a large part of the economy. So here you can understand that macroeconomics deals with the aggregates. So macroeconomics deals with the aggregates. What are macroeconomic variables? You can see here macroeconomic variables are aggregate demand, national income, unemployment, foreign trade, government budget, which we will discuss as economy as a whole. So because of that reason, we say that macroeconomics deals with the aggregates. Dear students, in microeconomics, that is introductory microeconomics. Here we are going to discuss six chapters. What are those six chapters? First one, introduction. Second one, Theory of consumer behavior, production and cost, third one. Fourth one, the theory of form and a perfect competition, market equilibrium, then non-competitive markets. Dear students, let us discuss each and every concept in microeconomics according to chapters. So here we are going to start with the chapter 1, Introduction. Now let us discuss basic concepts. The first basic concept is goods. What do you mean by goods in economics? Goods are a physical object or a tangible object used to satisfy human wants. So they are used to satisfy human wants. Example, pen, laptop, mobile are the examples for goods. Then individuals. Who are individuals in economics? Individuals means an individual decision making units. We call it as an individual decision making units. So here the decision making units can be a single person or a group like a household, a firm or any other organization we call it as decision making unit. Next one is resources. In economics resources means goods or services or you can consider goods and services which are used to produce other goods and services. Example, land, labor, tools, machinery are the good examples for resources. Now, what do you mean by economics? Economics refers to study or economic studies, the problem of choice. I repeat once again, economics deals with the problem of choice at individuals, social, national and international levels. Everyone will have the problem of choice. 
why does this problem of choice arises the first thing human wants are unlimited what is the reason what is the first reason why the problem of choice we face the first thing is human wants are unlimited second thing to satisfy these unlimited wants we have resources and these resources are limited the resources are not only limited but they have alternative uses so when you are trying to satisfy your unlimited wants with a limited resources definitely you have to make a choice what i want to say you have 10 wants but you have resources to satisfy only 6 wants now you have to choose 6 wants or you have to remove 4 wants that which you made in the list okay so making a choice to satisfy your unlimited wants with a limited resources we call it as a problem of choice you need to make a choice out of 10 you have to choose only 6 okay to satisfy your wants with a limited resources that we call it as problem of choice here you can conclude that the subject matter of economics revolves around the core problem of rational management of resources so you have to manage this limited resources in such a way that you have to max satisfy your maximum number of wants dear students now let us understand a simple economy here you can see individuals you think of any society people in the society needs many goods and services they need many goods and services similarly like a individual the whole society to need so many goods and services here goods refers to food cloth shelter transportation facilities like road railway postal service etc and even you can consider services like a teacher and doctor all these are very very essential in fact the list of goods and services that any individual any individual needs is so large that no individual in the society to begin with has all the things they need every individual has only some amount of only few goods and services that she would like to use i like to have more number of laptop may uh, i can consider four laptops i like to hold but my resources will allow me to keep only one lap see only some amount see some amount of only few goods whatever you can see the goods and services in the market each individual cannot hold all the type of goods and services they can hold only few goods and services that to some amount of goods and services dear students now let us understand with the help of an example there is a family farm and they have a resources like this they own a plot of land some grains and farming implements a pair of bullocks and labor service of a family members so they own the resources what are the resources of a family farm they have just a piece of land then some uh, grains and farming implements a pair of bullocks and labors they take from the family members itself so these are the things they own and we consider this as a resource of a family farm you can see here the plot of land some grains and the farm implements and a pair of bullocks and the members from the family who is working as a laborer so they consider or they consider the service 
labor service of a family members only in the society similarly there is a weaver and he owns some yarn some cotton and other instruments required for weaving a cloth as a resource you can see he has a yarn and he has some cotton and other instruments other instruments required for weaving the cloth and here we have taken a service of a teacher you can see teacher in a, in the local school has the skill required to teach education to the student so teacher has a skill as a resource to earn their livelihood so she is going to teach in the local school in order to earn their livelihood dear students here a family form weaver and teacher all are decision making units why they are called decision making units because they use their available resources to produce some goods and services which good and which service they need to provide will be decided by the each individual so because of that reason we call each of these are decision making units and after producing the product they may use part of produced for purchasing other goods and services which they need dear students here you can see an example family firm can produce a corn and use a part of produce corn for self consumption purpose remaining part he will be used to buy other goods and services so after is going to sell in the market after selling the remaining part of produce in the market is going to use that for purchasing other goods and services which he needs like clothing housing and other various services similarly you can see here weaver can get other goods and services that she wants in exchange for the cloth that she has produced okay and here teacher can earn some money by teaching students in the local school and use the money to buy other goods and services so teacher is going to teach in the local school and she is going to get a income or salary and she is going to use that to buy other goods and services in the market so what previous example says it goes without saying that no individual has unlimited resources compared to their needs i repeat once again no individual has unlimited resources compared to their needs now let us understand few things here dear students the corn produced by family firm and the cotton produced by the weavers okay in comparison with which they cannot buy whatever they want they want so many things here family form and weaver and even you can consider teacher whatever they have produced in comparison with the what they need other goods and services they have limited so the farmer produces corn and is going to sell in the market and whatever the income he receives with that he cannot buy he cannot buy whatever they want because what he is selling in the market is limited because his resources are limited he has only piece of land with a two bullock carts with some farm implements is it possible to produce or earn income which is unlimited to satisfy whatever he wants no so because of this thing we say no individual has unlimited resources compared to their needs so wants are unlimited 
resources are limited in reality it may be a rich country or it may be a poor country it may be a individual or it may be a, a government even at government level also government whatever it want to do it cannot do because it has a limited resources so they are forced to make a choice between different goods and services the same in the case with all other individuals in the society what you understood with a simple economy same thing is applicable to all the individuals in the society he may be a poor person or it he may be a rich person up according to their levels their wants are unlimited resources are limited everyone faces the scarcity of resource and therefore has to use the limited resources in the best possible way to fulfill their needs so scarcity of resources give rise to the problem of choice as we know the scarcity of resources give rise to the problem of choice we should allocate and reallocate resources so let us discuss allocation and reallocation of resources so you take a example of family farms who are producing corn the total corn produced by all the farms collectively and total demand for corn in the society and we need to consider whether the corn produced by all the farms collectively is more than the demand that means in the economy all farmers together they have produced 10 kg of corn but in the market demand is only 6 kg so here corn produced is greater than the required amount of corn in that situation some of the resources so here some of the resources must be you should observe here some of the resources must be withdrawn from the production of corn to produce some other goods which have high demand now here we need only 6 kg of corn how much we are producing 10 kg so here the resources used for producing 4 kg has to be withdrawn from the production of corn and we should use for producing some other item or some other goods which are very essential are demanded more in the economy if the thing is other way the total corn produced by all corn producing farms collectively is compared to in comparison to total demand for corn in this society is less that means we need a 10 kg of corn but produced is only 6 kg in that situation what we should do some of the resources must be withdrawn from the production of other goods which has low demand to produce corn so like this we should allocate and reallocate the resources according to demand dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much